we might just be witnessing the rise of the Nicholson acting dynasty. Jack Nicholson's son, Ray, has landed a role in the new horror movie, Smile 2. And I have to say, their resemblance is uncanny. Well, our faces do look alike. You know, we're, we're related, so. In the movie, Naomi Scott plays a pop star who's being chased by an evil entity. And at one point, this entity takes the form of her deceased husband, played by none other than the younger Nicholson. And there's one scene that really grabs attention. Ray gives this intense smile to the camera, and if you're a fan of The Shining, you'll definitely get deja vu. It's just like his dad's iconic grin. Ray even joked about the whole father-son look-alike thing. My mom says, you know, Ray, you were such a beautiful boy, and then you started to look like your father. <laughs> <laughs> but when it comes to acting, Ray shared that he and his legendary dad don't really talk much about the craft. Nicholson Jr. is clear that while he loves his father's advice, he needs to carve out his own path in the acting world. I think probably I'd hang on to his word too much. Gotcha. Uh, you know, I think it's important for me to find my way. That's a pretty mature take, right? At the Smile 2 premiere, Ray also mentioned that he and Jack are very different people. I was born in 1992, he was born in 1937. The things that affect me don't necessarily affect him. Um, obviously, I love him. He's my inspiration. He even shared how growing up with Jack meant learning from him in everyday ways, like at the dinner table. I ate dinner with him every night. You know, I studied it. That's how I learned how to be a human being, so. And who wouldn't feel lucky to have Jack Nicholson as their dad, right? I'm just glad that I love him. He's also my hero. I'm the luckiest kid in the world. That, that's all I would say about it. And Jack Nicholson himself has commented on Ray's determined attitude. Back in 2008, Jack told that when Ray sets his mind to something, nothing is going to stop him. No matter what anyone says, not even his dad. That's some strong, independent spirit right there. My face is my face, you know, and I want it in more things. As a father, Jack has always tried to be supportive without being overbearing. He said, I want to be inspirational or some kind of good influence on them without overburdening them. It's their time of life to find out who they are. I always read to them from childhood on. I think that's a father's responsibility. And let's be real. Having a dad who's a Hollywood icon can come with a lot of pressure. Jack even shared how he took Ray and his sister to all sorts of things, from opera and ballet to ball games, so they could get a wide range of experiences. And apparently, they even walked in on one of Jack's death scenes on the set of The Departed. Talk about a take your kids to work day. I love this work. It's dangerous, you give your life to it. Now, while Ray is making waves in the acting world, let's not forget about Jack himself. It's hard to believe, but it's been nearly 15 years since Jack Nicholson last appeared on screen. Fans have been wondering why he decided to retire so early. Was it his mental health or something else? Let's dive into that mystery together. There's no doubt that Jack Nicholson is a Hollywood legend. He added crazy energy that the world had never seen in movies before, and the film industry was changed for the better. He proved that you could be a crazy and serious actor and still remain respected in Hollywood. Jack Nicholson as the Joker, I mean, it's like you don't have to be a casting director. Nobody even have to say anything. I mean, that was just everybody's first choice because he is the Joker. I mean, there's just no question about it. The fear is almost more like um, he's almost too perfect. He used method acting religiously when it came to approaching all of his characters, which nowadays is a style of acting that's often under skepticism because of the toll it can take on an actor's well-being. In preparation for his Oscar-winning role in One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, he lived in a psychiatric hospital as a patient and continued to live there even during the making of the film. Jack is not only a great actor, he's also a smart actor. Because he knows that better the people around him will be, he will be better. He was, McMurphy, even behind the camera. For all the guys, all the goons, all the loonies, you know, his guys, you know. He incorporated intense amounts of research and commitment for all of his roles in films like The Witches of Eastwick and his character of the Joker in Batman. When people saw his dark and disturbing character in The Shining, everyone knew that whatever he did to prepare for that role, it had to be extreme. When Nicholson was asked to comment on the death of Heath Ledger following his performance as the Joker, the actor only had this to say, well, I warned him. It seemed like an almost insensitive thing to say, with all the shock and tragedy around Ledger's death. And people thought that Nicholson would have shown more sympathy for the actor 
considering that they had both played the same character. It also left a huge question hanging in the air. What had Jack warned Heath about? Was it about taking on the dark role of the Joker, or was it about the substances that led to his death? The question remains unanswered and still has people scratching their heads. Nicholson hasn't made a movie in over 10 years, and the last movie he made totally bombed at the box office and was ripped apart by movie critics. So sadly, the actor's last hurrah on the silver screen wasn't a very good one. How do you know? Nicholson's last film, Worldwide Theater Release, recouped less than $50 million of the enormous $120 million budget. It was a rom-com with high expectations, undoubtedly because of the cast. It featured Reese Witherspoon, Paul Rudd, and Owen Wilson, along with Nicholson. Fans thought it was going to be a hit, but unfortunately, it wasn't. Considering his last film wasn't a hit at the box office, Nicholson's fans are hoping that he makes a return to the silver screen in order to make up for the letdown of How Do You Know? Let's be clear here, the movie didn't do badly because of Jack. In fact, the actor was probably the highlight of the entire film. Considering that he's received 12 Oscar nominations, making him the most nominated actor for an Academy Award, fans want the actor's last movie to be as big of a hit as all of his previous films. I couldn't resist. I'll try to show you another one. I want to thank my fellow nominees. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sadly, the chance of the actor starring in another film is doubtful due to his early retirement. Nicholson hung up his acting hat in 2010, and it doesn't seem like he'll be putting it back on anytime soon. And it's not simply because he's retired. After starring in the hilarious Something's Gotta Give, he took a three-year hiatus, and for a while, people thought he was done with acting for good. Then he made the grand return with his outstanding performance in The Departed, which totally rocked at the box office, and everyone thought the actor was back for good. However, people couldn't help but wonder why the actor had taken the three-year break. Was he just taking some time to relax, or was there something bigger going on behind closed doors? Then, after his final film, it was confirmed that the actor had retired and would no longer be working as an actor, and this announcement left movie fans totally devastated. Was it because How Do You Know wasn't received well? Was Nicholson's ego bruised? With no explanation for his early retirement, rumors started to circulate, and it was alleged that Jack's mental health wasn't doing so well. There is a simple reason behind his decision to retire. It's memory loss. Quite frankly, at 76, Jack has memory issues and can no longer remember the lines being asked of him, revealed a source. As the years passed, the actor seemed to be seen less and less in the public eye, and fans couldn't help but be concerned. There were also reports that claimed he was becoming a hermit. In early 2015, the tabloids described Jack as a recluse, stating that he rarely leaves his house or dresses in anything other than a bathrobe. He lives like a slob, sources allegedly revealed. When asked about his retirement and the quiet life he's chosen to live, the actor admitted, I'm not going to work until the day I die. That's not why I started this. I mean, I'm not driven, I was driven, but I'm not, I don't have to be out there anymore. In fact, there's part of me that never really liked being out there. I learned how to function within out there. The actor never enjoyed his life in the spotlight and always saw it as the downside to being a successful actor. He always preferred to keep his private life private and with his celebrity status, it was virtually impossible. The average celebrity meets in one year 10 times the amount of people that the average person meets in his entire life. When his family was asked about the quality of Nicholson's health and the rumors of memory loss, they denied all the speculations about his memory and loss of his mojo. He's doing great, Nicholson's grandson said. He's 100%. So, even after shutting down the claims that Nicholson's mental health is on the decline, fans still can't help but wonder if there is perhaps some truth to them. Some may think that where there is smoke, there is fire. We'll leave that for you to decide. However, when it comes to the actor's return to the big screen, fans shouldn't hold their breath. Jack has an epic film track record, and he's left his mark on Hollywood as it is. <laughs> Are you satisfied with your career? Very satisfied. Um, Over and out satisfied. What would you like to be remembered for? My smile. He is without a doubt an acting legend, so perhaps he feels like he's done everything he's had to do with his career, 
and is enjoying the peace that comes with a life away from the spotlight. Whatever the reasons may be, there's a part of everyone that secretly hopes he makes one last comeback to the silver screen.